Hi, so today we're going to talk about subtracting mixed numbers with renaming. So we're going to start by taking a look at what we already know how to do. So let's say we have four and three fifths. So four holes and three fifths shaded in. Um, and we want to take away two and one fifth. So this is pretty straightforward. If we take away two holes, we're left with two holes. If we take away one fifth, we're left with two fifths. So our answer would be two and two fifths. Okay, now we're going to move on to when it gets a little more complicated. So let's say we have four and three fifths, just like before, except this time we're taking away two and four fifths. So let's just first take a look at the fractional parts. Okay, so if we focus on that, we have three fifths minus four fifths. Okay, but look at it. Look at this. We only have three fifths. How are we going to take away four fifths? So what we have to do is we have to trade in a hole for fractional parts. So we're going to take one of our holes and we're going to break it up into a fractional part. And because we're talking about fifths here, it's going to be fifths. So we took our hole, split it up into fifths. Nothing changed with what was shaded in. Everything stayed the same with what was shaded in. We just changed what was a whole versus a fractional part. So if we take a look at how that looks with the numbers, what we would actually do, we would cross out the four because now we don't have four holes any longer. We have three holes, okay? Now, we took that one hole and we traded it in for five fifths. So we have five fifths plus another three fifths. So instead of three fifths, we're going to have eight fifths, okay? Does everyone see that? The orange is how many holes and the red is how many fifths we have, okay? So we just changed the name. Instead of four and three fifths, three and eight fifths, which equal the same thing. We didn't change what was shaded in, we just needed more fractional parts so we could subtract the four fifths, okay? So now, if we, we can subtract the two and four fifths, right? If we start with subtracting the four fifths, we take those away, we're left with four fifths. And three minus two is one. So our answer is one and four fifths. One whole plus four fifths, okay? Um, so let's take a look at the, another example with a model, okay? And we're gonna slowly move towards moving away from the model so we could, the model is gonna help us understand what is going on with the numbers, okay? So three and one third, and we wanna take away two and two thirds, okay? If we, again, if we focus first on the fractional part, let's see if we have enough, one third minus two thirds, we do not have enough, right? We don't have enough fractional parts. So we're gonna trade in. We're gonna trade in one whole for three thirds. So again, this is gonna change what our, what our mixed number looks like. And instead of three holes, we have two holes. Instead of one third, we have four thirds, okay? So here's the two, one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, okay? Now we have enough to subtract those two thirds. So let's start with subtracting the fractional part first. So four thirds minus two thirds is two thirds. Two minus two is zero, so our answer would be two thirds, okay? Um, so now we're gonna, we're gonna move to doing this without a model. If you need to, to draw a model for you to understand what's going on, I would pause the video, actually draw out the model to help you understand. If you feel okay with moving on without the model, then just keep going, okay? So five and four sixths minus three and five sixths, okay? Four sixths minus five sixths, we can't do. We need more sixths. So we're gonna take a whole, we're gonna cross out that five, and if we took one whole away, it becomes four. Now, how many fractional parts were in that hole? How many sixths were in that hole? There were six sixths in that hole. So we're gonna take the six sixths and we're gonna add it to the four sixths that we already have. So now instead of four sixths, we have 10 sixths, okay? Now, we're gonna take away those three and five sixths. Now we have enough sixths to subtract the five sixths. So 10 six minus five six is five six, four minus three is one, and our answer is one and five six. Okay, we're gonna try another example like that. Um, 
first I want to show you what it would look like vertically. This is the same problem we just did. So this is just another way to write it. And it's, it's easier because you don't have to rewrite the numbers. You just jot them on top. So just like we did before, we didn't have enough six, so we need to take from the holes. So now we took one hole. We only have four holes. We're adding the six six to the four six, and we have 10 six. Okay, this way you could see we're, we're subtracting vertically. We're just rewriting on top the numbers that we need. A little less writing for you to do. Um, 10 six minus five six would be five six, and four minus three is one, just like we did before. Our answer was one and five six. Okay, let's try another one. Again, we're going to stick with this vertical formatting. Um, so let's take a look at the fractional parts first. Three sevenths minus six sevenths. We do not have enough sevenths, right? So we're going to, again, have to go to the holes. We're going to take away one hole. So that gives us five holes. And there are seven sevenths in one hole. So we're going to add the seven sevenths to the three sevenths, and now we have 10 sevenths. Okay, so basically adding whatever number is in the denominator plus whatever number is in the numerator. Okay, so we have 10 sevenths minus six sevenths is four sevenths, and then we subtract the holes, five minus two is three, so our answer is three and four sevenths. Okay, we're gonna do two more problems together. At this point, I'd like you to pause the video and try to do both of these problems on your own. Right? If you need a model to help you, you can definitely draw that out. The models are really good to help us understand why we're doing what we're doing. Okay? We, want to, we want to be able to do the steps, but we also want to understand why we're doing them. So if you still need that understanding, and you're not sure why you're doing what you're doing, definitely draw the models. Okay? But if you're, if you're okay with it, then you do not need to draw the models. Um, so pause it, copy down the problems, do these problems and then play it again when you're ready to go over it. Okay, so let's go over these problems. Seven and one-fifth minus four and two-fifths. So fractional parts, one-fifth minus two-fifths. We do not have enough to subtract, so we need to go to the holes. We're gonna cross out seven, take away one hole, so that's six. There are five-fifths in one hole, so we add it to the one-fifth that we have, and we have six-fifths. Six-fifths minus two-fifths, is four fifths and six minus four is two. So we have two and four fifths. Okay, let's go over the second example, three and five eighths minus seven eighths. Again, we don't have enough. And make sure, just because we're doing very similar examples where they all need to be renamed, you should check for sure before you solve a problem if you actually need to rename. Okay, so if we didn't need to, then we would just straight subtract. But here we see five eighths, we don't have enough to subtract the seven eighths, so we do need to rename it. So we're gonna take from a whole, cross out that three, it becomes a two. Instead of five eighths, we have to add eight eighths, so that becomes 13 eighths. 13 eighths minus seven eighths is six eighths. Two minus, we know that this means nothing, there are no holes, so two minus zero is two, so our answer is two and six eighths. If you're still confused about this or you need more time to process this whole new skill, I would suggest going back to the beginning of the video, rewatching it, pausing, drawing models if you need to, and definitely get some more practice in just with these types of problems.